Two Iditarod mushers are forced to seek help due to a ground storm. Anchorage, Alaska, KTUU, winds from a severe ground storm forced two back of the pack mushers to be rescued in separate events from the Iditarod trail sled dog race on Friday, according to race officials. A musher who had a dangerous encounter with a moose before the race began was among those saved. Both rescues occurred on Friday morning, as mushers were nearing the finish line in Nome. Because of the storm, Gerhard Theart, who was approaching the checkpoint in safety, 22 miles 35 kilometers, from Nome, activated his emergency beacon. On his snowmobile, Edward Stang from a nearby settlement came across Theart and his dog team. Theart's leg had been injured. Stang, who had no idea Theart had activated an emergency beacon, drove him to White Mountain, a nearby town. Theart was scooped up by a helicopter and flown to Nome, where he was evaluated Friday night, according to an Iditarod statement. Bridget Watkins, another musher, called a family member in Nome for help about the same time. A White Mountain search and rescue team was deployed, but Watkins' husband Scotty found her in the meanwhile. He and four other snowmobile riders set out from Nome to assist mushers during the storm. Watkins was transported to White Mountain and examined at a local clinic. She was then taken to Nome, where she was reunited with her family. Watkins was on a training run in Fairbanks in February when a bull moose began stomping her dogs and continued to do so even after she fired her gun at the moose. After the moose had gravely hurt four of her dogs, she was able to contact for assistance, and a friend arrived and killed the moose with a high-powered gun. The two dog teams were being transported to Nome by a White Mountain search and rescue team and an Iditarod snowmobile crew that monitors the back of the race, according to Iditarod officials. Race veterinarians will evaluate them on Friday. Due to the rescues, both mushers had to withdraw from the race. The almost 1,000-mile 1 1 Iditarod began at Willow on March 6 and took mushers through the harsh Alaska tundra. The race was won by Brent Sass on Tuesday. Eight of the 49 mushers that started the event have pulled out. Nine mushers are still on the path, huddled together at the White Mountain checkpoint, 77 miles, 124 kilometers, from Nome.